All right, so step one, you're going to open up Google Chrome, go to spencerclefonline.com, videos and tutorials. You're going to download the tie reference image. You're going to left click it down here. You're going to right click, cut. You're going to paste it to your desktop. And we're going to get inside of Max. First thing we're going to do is customize unit setup, metric and centimeters. Uh, after that, we're going to right click our snaps toggle. We want grid points, grid lines, vertex, edge and segment. Home grid is going to be 15, 10, and 3. All right, so hit T for your top viewport. Drag out a plane. Right click. Go to your modify panel. Drag down those segments to 1. The size is going to be 300 by 350. We're going to hit M now. You're going to go to your diffuse slot, hit the box, bitmap, go to your desktop up top here, 725, assign material to selection, show standard map and viewport. All right, so let's hit W for our move tool, and you're going to hold Alt over this little spinner down here on Z, and you're just going to drag it down just a teeny bit. All right, and let's go ahead and just drag, let's right click all three of those, and then we'll Alt drag that one down again. All right, so we have our piece right where we want it. So what I'm looking at here is where we're going to build this pattern out, okay? So let's go ahead and go drag out a new plane. So create panel. I'm going to click S for our snaps toggle. I'm going to drag it out 4x4. Four four. All right, so there we go. Right click. Go to your modify panel. Let's do 4x4 four four again. Okay, I'm going to do Alt X. I'm going to click up here, smooth and highlights, transparency, best. All right, and I'm going to click S to get out of that. I'm going to right-click and convert this to an edit poly. And now I'm going to hit my one key to go into my vertex mode. And I'm going to start following this image here. Loosely. Oops. Grab that guy there. This is going to be our joint here. Let's go ahead and connect these two guys. And let's grab this here. All right. This can just get dragged over a bit. There. And we're going to go ahead and target weld this to the side because we don't really need that. We don't need this one either. All right, now we just want to make sure these top and bottom verts align, so I'm going to hit the S key again. I'm going to drag and select that, and I'm going to drag it to that one. And with this one, we're going to make sure that one's there. I don't think we moved either of them, so I think we're good to go. All right, so I'll go to your edge mode, and let's go ahead and select all these edges that we want to be chamfered and extruded. So I'm grab these. There and there, and I'm going to right click, chamfer. That looks to be about a good size. Press one, and let's go to cut. All right, and I'm going to target weld some of these up. Target weld works. And that one can get target welded. That one didn't like that, so let's do something like that. There we go. And we'll just adjust that one in a second here. So that looks good. Move this one. And I'm going to hit my 2 key and get rid of all these center pieces here. All right, so control backspace on those. It's looking like we have pretty decent quads here. I actually like that kind of going up into a small thing like that. So it's, it's, there we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and hit my Swift Loop tool. If you don't know how to assign that, I have a tutorial for that. I just find your Swift Loop. We got to fix that part up top, whatever's going on there. And there we go. So let's just go like that and do a Control Shift W. That didn't like it, so I'm just going to target weld them. And. 
Let me try just moving this vert. There we go. That's better. All right. Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to hide unselected. So right click, hide unselected, do an Alt X. And I'm going to go to polygon selection mode, control A. I'm going to start deselecting all the stuff that isn't going to be a tread that gets extruded here. All right, so that's looking good. Let me just move that a bit. I don't really like that what's going on there, but we're going to go ahead and try to power through it. So let's go ahead and hit G to get rid of the grids. And let's do right click and do an extrude of zero. And then I like just moving it down myself. Okay, and let's right click and do a swift loop through that whole part and through that whole part. Now I'm going to go to my quad mode, or uh, you know what it is, quad mode, polygon mode. And I'm going to drag those and delete those. So I just deleted the front and top parts, and hopefully we're good to go as far as making sure these are aligned. So I'm going to double check with S. So, yep, those are aligned. Make sure these ones are. And these ones. Alright, so, looking good. Now, this is kind of the manual labor part here. So we're going to go over to the hierarchy panel, effect pivot only. We're going to uh, just drag this down with uh, snaps on. Okay, I'm going to shift drag this up, the copy, and go here, back to the modify panel. I'm going to click attach right there. All right, and get rid of S for a second. The 20 vertices. So I'm going to do a control shift W, and we got 10. So just want to make sure nothing collapsed in there, all right? And then you can just kind of grab one, make sure everything's looking good. All right, so let's go back to the top view. Now I'm going to adjust this again. So effect pivot only, center to object, click S. Effect pivot only, shift drag this up. Click OK. Modify panel, attach here. So we're just kind of repeating the same steps. And back to effect pivot only. Drag it back down. So we'll have eight after this one. And I'm shift dragging up. Back to the modify panel, attach here. One key. There we go. And let's go back and do this one more time. And then we should have enough. And shift drag up. Press S to get out of that. Go back to your modify panel and attach. Press the one key. And let's go ahead and control shift W to weld that. And that looks like it should be enough. So let's go ahead and hit T for the top viewport. And I'm going to go to the hierarchy panel once again. Press S and we're gonna drag it to the side here. Oops, right there. All right, so this is the left side is the outside of the tire, the right side is the right. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the modify panel and throw a symmetry on it. And it's already left to right like it was just in our view, so you just click flip. There we go, now we got one piece. All right, so up next, we're gonna go ahead and try throwing a turbo smooth on it. All right, it's looking okay. Not too shabby. And so let's go ahead and hide the turbo smooth for now. I'm going to throw the bend modifier on it. And the numbers you want are 360 and negative 90. And then we want it on the Y. And it's pretty much the same all the time. All right. And then next up to combat the tire not looking like a cylinder in the front view like that or in the left view, I'm going to throw a stretch modifier on it to stretch it out. And stretch. And now you want to go to your plus sign here and move the center. So we're going to go to the left view, Z to zoom, G for grid, S for snaps. Bring it right down in the center, which is fairly easy because you got two points here in the middle and then you got three points here. All right. And let's go hit G, 
F for the front view, Z to zoom. You can hit S to turn your snaps off. And now we're just going to adjust it just a teeny bit on the right axis. If I can find it, it's the X one. There we go. Sorry about that. On the X axis. All right. So that's looking all right. And then we can turn our turbo smooth back on. And let's go into our turbo smooth and let's do two iterations with ice line display. And you have a tire. So hope you like it. Thanks guys.